ki mai taku manu ka ke mai taku manu. Te tahatu o te wai nui, te tahatu o te wai roa, ka tū te rupe rupe ki tai, ka whakakiki, ka whakakaka, are mai, are mai, te nā kouta katoa. Ke tauterangi māre mo te atawhai o tō tātu ariki tō tātu kai whakora o i hukurati ki a koutou. Tēnei rā tuatai o te haerenga mai, ko ngā kraiputure a ngā tū nei te whakāro, a ngā tū nei te titiro ki tua. Ki tua ki tērā ko oti e te atua te wikitoria, ko tā tātu i tēnei rā ke kiteihua ngā tohu o te wā. Me pēhea, tā tātou kawa i a tātou, ko mātou ēnei, ko te piamatanga o te tai tokerau e whakātou atuana, te kawe a te tai tokerau. Ka timata i orongu nui, ka hui wahine tāyatu ki ngā te minita a whānau, me ngā pāriha takiwā puta nō te tai tokerau, me ngā whakamine ngā hau, ngā karakia hau kua tū i tēnei tau kua pahore a kene. Tēnei a mihiana ki a koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Haere atu rā i ngā pau o te hāhi, hoki atu ki tua o te ārae, hoki atu ki te runga rawa, ki tō tātou kai whakaora ai hukaraiti. Moi mai rā, moi mai rā, moi mai rā. Kua hau te āranga me te ora, kuia e whakapono ana ki a hau, aha kua kua mate, E ora anō, e kore anō hoki e mate, ake, 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 ngā tānga takatoa e ora anā, a e whakapono ana ki a hau. E te atu a, kua rui a nei, o pura pura pae, O mai e koe, he ngā kauhau, ki a tipu ake ai. Ko iho a tōku he para, e kore a hau e hapa. Ko ia hei mea ke a takatoa hau, ngā wahi taru taru hau, e ārahi ana i a i a hau, i te taha o ngā wai a tarere. Ko ia hei waka hoki ake i tōku wai rua, e ārahi ana i a i a hau i ngā ara o te tika, e waka aro hoki ki tōna i ngoa. Ai, aha kua haere a hau i te awawa o te ātarangi o te mate, kā hore he kino e wehi a i a hau, no te mea kei tōku taha koe, Ko tau rākau, ko tau toko toko, ko e nga he oranga ngā kau mōku. He taka ana koe, he te pū ki tōku aro aro, i te tirohanga no ao ku hoariri. He waka wahi ana e koe tōku mātinga ki te hinu, pūrena tonu tāku kapa. He pono e aru i a hau te pae me te atawhai ngā rā katoa e ora ai a hau. A ka noho a hau ki te whare o i hoa a ke tonu atu. Kororia ki a koe e te ariki. Amine. Tainu hone tana a hau, te pauawhina o Orongonui, te kura mihinare o te tai tokerau. Ko te kaupapa matua o Orongonui, ko te hakairo a te tai tokerau. Hoia te waka rongo pai, ki te ako, ki te kawe i te rongo pai, ki te hakamana i ngā kaihoi o te tai tokerau, kia meinga hei akonga mā te kraiti. Ia tau, tata te whā te kau ngā akonga o Orongonui, e ako ana i te minitatanga o te kupu a te atua, I roto i te reo me ngā tika ngā Māori, e ono ngā wahanga mo te tohu mihingare. Tuatahi ko te hakapapa o te hāhi mihingare o te tai tokerau, no te pōhiri ki te rongopai kei o ihi. Kanukunuku, kaneke neke. Kanukunuku, kaneke neke. 
Titiro ki ngā wai o tokerau e hora nei Me he pipi wharaurua ki tua Takoto te pai, takoto te pai Fiti, fiti, tata, tata Fiti, fiti, tata, tata He rā taua ki tua Takoto te pai, takoto te pai Tua rua ko te reo mihingare Tua toru ko te karakia mihingare E ako ana rātau i ngā inoe nō te rāwiri me ngā karakia mō te hākari tapu. E toru ngā pau o te reo mihingare, pau karakia, pau himene me te paipera tapu. Tua whā ko ngā kōrero karaipi ture, e ako ana i ngā āhuatanga me ngā kōrero o te paipera tapu. Tua rima ko te kauhau mihingare, e ako ana i ngā pūkenga o te mahi kauhau. Ko te wahanga hakamutunga mo te tohu mihingare, ko te pepa o tō mātou pihopa, ko te mana mihingare. Ko ngā hua o oro monui, ko ngā akonga kua mau i te tohu mihingare, ko hoki ki ngā marae, ki ngā whare karaki o te kainga, ki a tūhei minita. E tahi anō hua, ko te mahi tahi a te pihopa tanga o te tai tokerau, me te whare wānanga o awa nui arangi. Hei arahi i ngā akonga ki eke ai ki te taumata o te tohu toi tangata. Bachelor of Humanities, majoring in Mihingare Studies. E te kaumā whā ngā akunga i tēnei tau, a te kaumā rua anō ngā akunga a te rātau. Ko te timatanga o te hakaro nui, ko te wehi ki a ihoa. Ko te mātauranga, ko te mōhio ki te mea tapu. Kia ora mai anō tātou katoa. Ko Rani Mars tēnā hau, ko au te kaiwhaka mana rangatei and I feel very privileged to support youth ministries in te piopatanga o te tai tokerau. I work alongside the Mokopuna Rangatahi Council. Their vision is making Jesus known and their mission, resourcing whānau and pastorates to communicate Christ with Mokopuna and Rangatahi. They are committed and passionate to ensure that Mokopuna and Rangatai ministries are fully supported at all our camps and any events. One of the new strategies for MRC was to adapt to online ministries. This new culture of technology is normal for our youth. Tira Rangatahi Wānanga, Growing Young Leaders Initiative, is specific teaching to youth beginning at 14 to 18 years of age. MRC launched a new initiative this year, the Waka Ama Outreach Project, as a vehicle to support youth in a small community. Our Waka Ama resources will help to support the youth. We can provide other educational resources as well. An extremely tough year adjusting to online youth ministries. However, this doesn't stop youth building connections with their peers and te hahi. Kia ora tātou. Kia ora koutou, ko Rev Mark Taku Ingoa, uh, no Hemi Tapu Māngari Bridge Aho. Uh, one of the really exciting things that uh, we've been involved in uh, over the last little while is back in 2020, uh, we begun a Reo Rua service which was given the name Te Kare O Ngā Wai by Bishop Kito. Um, it's been a really wonderful initiative. Uh, we have it um, a couple of times a month when we're not locked down and it's just been a wonderful uh, opportunity to connect with, a, with a, a new group of people who are interested in worshipping in Te Reo Māori. So it's been a real gift from God. Urban Vision is a missional order in the Anglican Church of Aotearoa, New Zealand and Polynesia. And we were uh, officially welcomed uh, into Te Hui Amorangi or Te Tai Tukurau, uh, in February by Bishop Keto, um, so that we can join in with the amazing work that God is doing here in Te Tai Tukurau. As a member of Urban Vision, I'm really excited about what God's doing and the kind of things that we'll be invited to do in partnership 
uh, with Te Hui Amorangi, uh, both in Te Takiwa o Manukau and beyond. Tēnā koutou katoa. Ko Kiri and Hokianga tōku ingoa, a picture can paint a thousand words. So here is the altar, the Lord's Table, at our 11am Kōringaro Contemporary Karakia held at Te Karaiti Te Pau Heringawaka in Māngere. Whānau who gather around this holy table with us at our service come from different walks of life. We have the unchurched, the de-churched, Māori, Pākehā, Pacifica, Mehingare and non-Mehingare gathered to eat at the same tepu tapu to be fed by Christ in a vibrant new Māori Anglican way. This is a huge blessing for our community and other fruits from this new church plant is that this holy table has the potential to be extended, allowing for more services to be planted in Te Takiwa or Manukau. Praise God. It's invitational and it's creating space for new pathways of worship under the Mihingare banner. And God's Spirit is definitely moving in this space. Gloria Kiteatua. In 2001, the people of Aotearoa were greatly saddened that Queen Victoria School, a place of Māori education for 100 years, producing many outstanding women leaders, would close. This greatly respected school, which had merged faith, education and tikanga into its curriculum and character, would celebrate its centenary and commiserate its demise in the same year. That was two decades ago. Over that time, a revitalised trust board and a passionate old girls association breathed new life into the kura. Although its doors had closed, the spirit of Wikitoria never waned. Central to the school's future was the need to re-establish its spiritual foundation. Over the past year, alumni from across the generations have faithfully gathered on site for monthly karakia and whanaungatanga. It is recognised that in drawing our people back as a worshipping community, it will strengthen the wairua of the school. Ahead of its re-emergence as a place of leadership and excellence for Māori women. Nati kahu, no nati hini aho. O deb kola ho, te kai tuituri o kahu wahimi o te tai tokerau. In August 2015, the Reverend Dr. Rangi Nicholson put out a challenge. He said, Let's have more actions, put together bold visions and have big dreams. O kahu wahimi o te tai tokerau has taken up this challenge and is putting together bold visions and big dreams. It started with the establishment of the role of a kai tuituri a wahine dedicated to the well-being, the growth and the development of kāhui wahine o te tai tukarau. Regional conferences that offer for nangitanga, training and lots of fun. The publication of a book of faith narratives of some of our queer. And then it's been to work with kāhui wahine pastorates to develop visions for their communities and their whānau. Then wrap around them supports and training resourcing so that they can actualize their visions and we're doing this through a project called the Proverbs 31 project which is designed to build up the mana of the role of wahine as first teachers in their home and working alongside minita afano also establishing home craft skills through wananga kainga then it's to empower our Māori wahine to make healthy lifestyle choices for themselves their whānau and their communities, and finally to create sustainable whānau well-being through intergenerational participation and reciprocal tuakana taina shared experiences. Tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou, tēnā koutou katoa. Well, first of all, I cast my mind back to 2015, where it was moved by Te Runanga Nui that many tā whānau become the top priority for Te Pio Patanga o Aotearoa. So how have we done it here in Te Tai Tokero? We've looked at how can we place the Bible, the prayer book, and karakia back into the homes of our whānau. 
The rest of the Wananga is made up of kōrerorero, allowing our whānau to express themselves, allowing our whānau to ask questions, because it's all around the spiritual well-being of the whare. We've had 150 students go through these wānanga, and every student through their evaluation form are asking for more. Well, now we have to have a look at other ways of sustaining this important kaupapa. And yes, and it will remain a top priority for us here in Te Tai Tokero. So Fano, that's just briefly sharing with you. And we are now seeing Fano re-engage with the church. We're seeing more Fano get involved with karaki on the marae. And also, it's a blessing for us here in Te Tai Tokero because it's adding students to our Oro program. And from there, we are seeing our whānau uh, move on into licensed ministry. I whakanui mātou, i te huritau kotahirau whātakau, o te wharekarekia o te ana tapu. In June 2021, we as a church whānau celebrated the 140th anniversary of the Church of the Holy Sepulchre. The first Church of the Holy Sepulchre, located on Simon Street, was opened in 1865 by Bishop Selwyn, Bishop of New Zealand. The present church, located on Kuiper Pass Road, was consecrated in June 1881. Over the 78 year period to 1959, the church was served by no less than 18 vicars. In 1963, it became the home of the Auckland City Mission. The relocation of many Māori families to Auckland since the 1950s created a need to pastor to this growing demographic. In 1969, the church became the Auckland Anglican Māori Mission, Te Mihana Māori o Tamaki Makaurau, serving the spiritual and missional needs of Māori. The Venerable Kingi Ihaka accepted the appointment of Māori Missioner. Since then, the role has been entrusted to a number of distinguished and faithful clergy supported by dedicated laity. The Church of the Holy Sepulchre holds within its walls the memory of many baptisms, confirmations, weddings, ordinations, tangihanga, concerts and services of worship. It is a rich history of people whose lives and witness have furthered the gospel of our Lord Jesus Christ far and wide. Ki te kore e hanga e te atua te whare, he momo mahi Unless the Lord builds the house, the builders labour in vain. E toru tau ki muri, i tīmata au, i hei tiamana o te puari, o te whari ruruhau o meri, tō mātou kaiwhaka whiwhi ratonga hapori, e arahina ana e Deanne Wolferston. Te nai nei, neke atu i te toru mano ngā whānau e mahi ana mātou, i a tau, i a tau. A, I nui ake, tā mātou moni whiwhi, i rua rau o rau ki te neki atu i te toru miriona tāra. E te rātou, i whakatūwhere e te premier tō mātou wharehau ki manakau, te tānga manawa. Each year, our nation honours those who make an outstanding contribution to our country. The honour of Officer of the New Zealand Order of Merit was awarded to Bishop Kittle by the Governor-General Dame Patsy Reedy. Here at Government House in Auckland, as part of the 2021 New Year's Honours, the honour recognises Bishop Kittle's 33 years of dedicated service to the church and community as a priest and bishop. The citation describes how Bishop Kittle has used his influence to raise the voices of Indigenous peoples in the church, both nationally and internationally especially the aspirations of Māori. His international roles include his work for the Anglican Indigenous Network, 
the World Council of Churches and the International Anglican Liturgical Consultation. He has served on the Common Life Liturgical Commission, being the chaplain and co-martua to the Māori Women's Welfare League, serves on the St Stephen's and Queen Victoria Schools Trust Board, Te Whare Ruru Meri Board, the New Zealand Defence Force as the Anglican Liaison Bishop, and as a member of the Police Commissioner's Māori Focus Forum. He is on the board of the New Zealand Bible Society and Te Kotahitanga and Te Kaunihira of St John's College. When we reflect upon the contribution that Bishop Kito has made, it brings to mind the teaching of St Paul in Hebrews chapter 13, verse 7. Remember your leaders who taught you the word of God. Think of all the good things they have done in their life and follow the example of their faith. Ko Michael Taneaho no Oromahoe. I'm General Manager of Te Hui Amarangi Ki Te Tai Tokero Trust Board. Along with the administrative function of the board, my role today is to provide you with a snapshot of some of our aspirations within Te Piho Patango Te Tai Tokero. On the screen now, you will see our first project. This is a new Tai Tamariki Hospital in Kaikui. The rationale behind this project had its genesis in Pihopa Tikitohi's vision whereby we were not taking our rangatahi too far from the Tūranga Waiwai to further their academic endeavours. And secondly, the integration of spiritual and practical formation to prepare our young people for the highest aspirations of leadership within Ngāpui. I am pleased to say we recently submitted our plans for resource consent and are currently preparing our building consent uh, application as we speak. Kia ora rawatu. Tēnā koutou kato. My name is Adam Martin and I am the Secretariat for the Huyamorangi Te Taitukurau Trust Board and the Chair for the KT Finance Audit and Risk Committee. In 2019, world markets were in decline and our Amorangi chose to implement austerity measures for these lean times ahead. What you see on the screen in front of you now are just examples of some of the decisions that have been made and the consequences. You'll see that our expenses have significantly decreased over the last two to three years. It was imperative that these decisions were made to ensure our longevity. Our future now is focusing on unlocking the latent potential in our land assets, as well as realising the best returns we can on the cash under management. The decision was made that we move our fund manager. And even in these difficult international markets, that was a great decision that the board made. And it has enabled the Amorangi just even this year to earn returns in excess of 9%. Thank you for your time. We will move to alert level three nationwide. After 48 hours, the time required to ensure essential services are in place, we will move to level four. And so it began. We were in lockdown. And for us in the Amorangi, our direct contact with our congregations and between ourselves moved from kanohi ki te kanohi to a virtual one. Ko David Taupane tuku ingoa, he kaifaka mana hau mo te pihopatanga o te taitokarau. Zoom, or Zui, became common jargon, and our skills using Zoom increased tenfold. And not just us, but our congregation as well, as they learnt to connect and interact with karakia online. Lockdowns brought us weekday, evening and morning online karakia. Bishop led off with evening karakia from the old Rawiri and working his way through all the Psalms. 
Today, we have moved to Morning Karakia, led by our Mangare ministry team, supported from ministry throughout our Amorangi. Sunday Morning Online Karakia has grown from an Amorangi-led Karakia by Archdeacon Dr. Lyndon Drake from Mangare to livestream Karakia offerings from Mihana, Whangarei and PAP to the local pastorates. Minita Afano, led by Kenanata Hokianga, and Kuraratapu, led by Roy Franklin, also brought on weekly online programs. Our leadership team also met weekly by Zoom, and still do today, to keep track of issues and challenges brought on by the restrictions of COVID. Baptisms, confirmations and ordinations had to be deferred indefinitely. KT and even Hui Amorangi were forced onto Zoom as well. Also, working with our diocese partner who developed a COVID framework guideline for karakia helped with our decision making. COVID restrictions forced us to think innovatively about how we could further enhance our online karakia offerings. The Himene project was thus launched, professionally recorded Himene in a studio. These recordings, both video and audio, have since been used extensively by the Amarangi in the various online karaki offerings already mentioned. This project continues restricted presently by COVID. Online kuraratapu. Ko wai ngarangatira mo apopo, ko atato mokopuna rangatahi. I oro tonu atato kuraratapu, iaratapu, kei runga i te hui topa i tēnei wā haumaluai. He waka eke noa mātou o te mihana i te taha o te aka. Tino koe ngā pīnati o a tātou tamariki. Aha koa te aha, ka whai rātou te aroha o tō tātou ariki a ihukaraiti. Ka whāngaitia e mātou ngā kaiako kura rātapu. Stepping out of level 4 lockdown then allowed us to move to home ministry. Karakia and bubbles. This proved extremely popular and I believe a sign of things to come, a return to how the early Christians started the faith journey. Pastoral care also had to move into overdrive. Spiritual support was a priority. A telephone call, a visit at the gate wearing a mask, kai and care packs delivered to those in need, and of course karakia for tangihanga under COVID restrictions. In finishing, an immediate observation of our need to provision karakia online is that we get significantly more people joining us there than whom used to turn up at church. So is this a sign of how ministry and mission work is changing? A combination of online offerings, home ministry, and coming together as a full congregation less often? I think, watch this space. Archdeacon Linden reflected recently that we should not despair about the pandemic and all the other trials and tribulations going on in the world presently, but instead have hope. The book of Revelation talks about an end-of-day scenario, yet it also infers hope of the good to come, the victory of Christ over all else. So use this COVID situation as an opportunity to promote hope from the gospel, as was preached at Oihi. COVID can make us become a hopeful church. Tēnā koutou katoa. Tēnei hei whakaoti ake e tā mātou whakātu. Tēnei kaue ake tai tokerau. Ina nai ka tū tā mātou hui amorangi. Ka tau, ka oti a mātou tētai mōtini. Tēnei he tonu atu ana e mātou ki te rūnanga nui. A muri iho, ka tuku atu tēnei tono ki te hino ta whānui. Ka whakarotia mātou, ka tari ake he pire, a mo te wahanga ki te pauhere. Kia tāhe ai mātou, kia āhe ai mātou, he pihopatango te tai tokerau, kia tū he pihopatāpiri. He pihopatāpiri i roto i te pihopatango te tai toko. Tā mātou tono tēnei, tono atu nei, ki tēnei runanga nui, a muri iho ka tuku atu ki te hāi whānui. Nō reira, kāti konei, waihui konei, tēnā koutou, Tēnā koutou katoa.